Hi guys, welcome to the Freelancer of the Week. And today I'll be talking to a physically challenged but highly able agency owner, the CEO of the personal branding studio, The Rolling Media, the Inspire Premier herself. And that is none other than Giselle Tech. Hi, I'm Giselle Tech. I'm a PWP. For those who doesn't know, PWD means Operation with Disability. Welcome to my channel. Hi Rene, um, so I'm Giselle Tech. I'm the CEO and founder of The Rolling Media, a personal branding studio that has a mission to support personal, personal brands of happy people who want to live a purposeful brand in the world by teaching what we are passionate about. I am from Metro Manila, Philippines. Um, more things about me, well, I wear multiple hats daily. I am an entrepreneur, I am a personal brand strategist, a freelance business mentor, content creator, disability advocate, and an adventurer. So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Yes, All right. yes, you have a lot in your plate now. <laughs> How long have you been doing freelancing? And ano yung achievements mo na you think uh, yung mo most significant so far? I see. Um, well, I've been working from home or doing online jobs for more than 10 years now. I started right after I graduated from college. So that computes ko. Lang taon na ito. <laughs> Pero, uh, <laughs> I, I really started working from home uh, right after I graduated. Siguro mga two months. One to two months. Mm, um, okay. But then, back then, I treat online work as a full-time one. Like, I'm, parang ano, parang nagtatrabaho pa rin ako sa office. Okay. But, sa bahay ako nag-work. So, yung mm-hmm. kliyente ko or companies I've worked with are from different parts of the world, not necessarily the Philippines talaga. I think I have never worked with a company in the Philippines later when I have my um, company already. But, yeah, that's how I started and then with online freelancing naman, meaning me really working with people who I really want to work with or with direct clients, no company, no schedule. Mm-hmm. I started that around 2017. Okay. And then by 2019, I built my company, The Rolling Media. One of the biggest achievements that I am very proud of is I was able to build a company not to only service personal brands, but also to provide a livelihood to other Filipino freelancers, especially to um, people with disabilities like me. Yung mga achievements mo na yan, of course, hindi yan dumating ng basta-basta. So, what are your struggles and challenges na you experienced before that? Siguro pinakamalaking kasalanan ko as an entrepreneur, <laughs> the biggest mistake, um, I didn't build enough cash flow. Okay. Back then, I was fixated on our yearly revenue. Kasi taon-taon, napapalaki ko talaga yung revenue ng business. Okay. That, I didn't consider much of my profit. And then later mm. on, when na had na mga problema sa client, mm-hmm. I had my dry months when we ended contract with um, clients or we finished projects. Then na, then na lumabas na okay. Um, mm-hmm. We should have more cash flow or more cushion for us to flow better as a company. Then mm-hmm. to yung na realize ko yung quote na revenue is vanity, profit is sanity. Cash flow is reality. So, uh, by then, talagang, ano, it, it was an eye-opener. I learned the hard way, but I'm really glad na I was able to surpass that big challenge that I've had with, with the company. 
being a freelancer um very important na meron tayong mga habits ba diba? na to help us na to be in our top shape kahit hindi ano kahit we are not feeling well ano yung mga ha- habits mo na na form that helped you and you think will be also helping others if we, they follow that habit probably um showing up because I'm okay. mentioned kanina kahit na um wala ka sa tamang timpla na kailangan mong yeah. patindig it's part of your habit I think uh one of the best thing that I've done is improving up every day even if sobrang tamad na tamad ako sobrang wala mm-hmm. ako sa mood or wala akong motivation like uh I, I really pushed myself to to show up and I realized na it doesn't have to be 100% all the time hindi naman kailangan full force ako na nagsusu up every day as long as you know people get to uh, see me listen to me or hear anything about me like uh when it comes to social media postings I don't need to make it really long or I don't need yeah, na- kailangan laging planchado or business uh insights yung ilalabas ko it could be something personal because sometimes the more personal you can be online on social media the better you can say mas makaka-resonate sa yung mga tao kasi yeah. mas makikita nila na okay this is not a robot talaga ng tao sa <laughs> it's yeah. a human being and so uh i think kasi so often we mistake ourselves on relying upon motivation na yeah. i'm gonna do this hinihintay ko lang yung motivation ko or magkaroon na ako ng motivation ano, magtutuloy-tuloy na but then, I've also realized for the past years that motivation comes after doing an action sometimes kapag yeah. nakapag-invest na ng oras, ng panahon the more you take action, the more you get motivated to do it, kasi anyway, sayang naman yung mga in-effort mo yung mga in-effort mo ng oras So when motivation is out, discipline comes in, and I believe that is what can drive you to success. Very well said. <laughs> For the benefit, naman ng uh, mag-start palang ng freelancing, or if you are to start it again, how will you do it? I think I will still do how I did it five years ago. Uh, pero mas maaga, mas mabilis, at mas intentional. Okay. I have to start somewhere, so probably I will spend... Um, I, was, I will probably spend days searching about business, branding, marketing, copywriting, uh, social media, sales channels, mga ganyan. Just in our industry, the digital um, marketing world that we have, I believe we need to learn a little bit about everything in those things that revolves around our industry. Then, kapag meron na akong enough knowledge, I think um, spending a week or so, um, really digging deeper on those topics, then I will try to get a mentor as early as possible. To help me understand things better and this is what i believed in when i had mentors who you know shares their knowledge and experiences it was able to fast track my learning and my success from maybe 15 years down to five yeah. years so much nagiging mabilis yung mga nagiging process Um, we'll be going uh, up close and personal. <laughs> okay. So, sino ba si Giselle nung kanyang early years? Ano mga experiences mo? And, yun, uh, how it contributed to who you are now? Mm-hmm. Well, um, sino ba si Giselle? Well, <laughs> I'm someone na uh, mahilig mag-explore ng mga bagay-bagay. I really, lo- I really love learning and exploring new things. Even up to now, I, I find it very uh, fun and enjoyable to do kapag may bago akong natututunan or may bago akong nasusubukan. Kumbaga, 
may it be about business or about life, but someone, um, parang Philippine version ni Dora the Explorer. <laughs> I really love um, you know, traveling, exploring different things. Uh, and I think with that attitude, it really built my, um, not just my success, but who I am today. start ka na agad ng home based oh, mm-hmm. after ng college how, how did you get into that paano um nagsearch ako online kasi before nag OJT ako um uh, sa BPO uh, somewhere uh-huh. in Petigas kasi of course I-, I needed that for me to graduate um i didn't like the experience kasi medyo hassle i had to go there every day for two weeks i think or more um Nung ko naman na yung wala pang grab. More on oh. top. Tapos kumita talaga. Um, we had a family driver naman. But then, since I'm going to do OJT na, magtatrabaho na ako, hindi siya masyadong practical. Kaya, mm. I resorted to looking for something that I can you know, I can start with online. May internet na ako sa bahay and then my computer. So, I, I just did a switch down uh, the words like how to make money online or how to find a job online and, and so on. Last time, nag, nagbasa ko ng mga articles. Nakita ko yung mga, um, hindi pa siya upwork noon. Um, uh, Odesk? Odesk, yes. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Tapos, online jobs, PH, pati yung Craigslist. The first ever job that I've gotten came from Craigslist. So, oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> Craigslist, paano yun? Ano how? Paano may mga ads sila, job ads. Ah, okay. Okay. Para play lang ako doon. Alright. Parang ano rin, parang um, job street. Okay. okay. Dito sa Philippines. But yan, more on uh, sa US. So, you have been doing that, um, yung ganun online job. Pero, na-mention mo, 2017, ka talaga naging parang, uh, tama ba? Yung freelance? Online mo? freelance, yes. Yeah, online freelance. Um, so, for the past years kasi, I really am working with certain companies like I am a junior designer or uh, pinaka lead designer nila, graphics or sometimes a uh, marketing assistant. So, marami akong naging trabaho. I was a job of all trade uh, yeah. with working with different uh, international companies. And usually, merong schedule like 9 to 5 or mm-hmm. nga, ano eh, graveyard shift. I think the first few uh, jobs that I've had, lahat sila ano, graveyard. So, tulog nila lahat dito ako gising nag-work ako online. <laughs> And then, in 2017, that's when I started to really do freelance work. Meaning, yeah. yung wala talagang company, like I'm, I'm directly working with certain clients on project-to-project okay. project basis. How did you started that agency? And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it all started when I started my YouTube channel back in okay. 2017. Um, that's when I started exploring content creation. 2017, yon I uh, hop on facing my camera and then just doing different mm-hmm. sort of things, just telling stories about me about what I do, my travel, my job, etc. And then, I have this particular video where I talked about online jobs and people weren't so aware of that pa back then. Well, there are a lot of online freelancers now or online job um, employees, pero hindi pa siya as booming as today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Um, a lot of people were curious about what I was talking about and then uh, that led me to create more videos about that and then uh, a few more videos, people kept on asking me like, Uy Giselle, magawa ka naman ng course or paano ba yan? How cool? You know, it's beautiful, how cool. So, medyo na ano ako doon, na, na-influence ako about that na kasi kasi sa, sagot ako ng sagot, paulit-ulit na naman yung tinatang sa akin, paulit-ulit na naman yung... <laughs> so, 
ang ginawa ko was um sige um try ko nga gumawa ng mini course I am not really um into creating courses or being a coach wala akong idea noon ang alam ko lang yeah. magtuturo ako like I yes, have yes. to do something um worthwhile na makakatulong sa kanila at makakatulong din sa akin na ay imbis na paulit-ulit ako sige ilang bagsa ka na lang Mm-hmm. But I was when I was uh, planning the mini course, I called it We Tech. Um, mm-hmm. I'm focusing on people with disabilities. Kasi yun naman talaga yung pinaka niche for yeah, market yeah. ko sa YouTube. Mm-hmm. Gusto ko makatulong doon sa mga taong may kapansanan na okay, this is there's an opportunity online where you can work without you moving or going outside your house to actually work. So, I intended to just really get a few people, but I got about 50, 80 to 50 people applying. But then, medyo ano kasi, talaga na overwhelmed ako, parang, lang, hindi pa ako ready dyan, parang, parang I, I don't want to uh, bite more than I can chew. And so, sige, wala tayong mga 15, like yung mga nauna, at saka yung mga, yung mga sumagot na talaga, they're very, um so dito, they're very interested and mm-hmm. they're committed to actually do the work mm-hmm. so i did the mini course it i spent i think two months uh okay. with these 15 people and then another month giving them ojt yung ojt na yon um paid yon and then it's coming from all the freelance work that i've been Mm. Uh, getting from free up the man mm-hmm. because I've been an, an, a freelancer on free up for uh, a time na mm-hmm. during the time na nag-publish ako nung, nung course na yon. tapos marami na rin ako nagiging projects so doon, doon nag-start yung pagbuo ng The Rolling Media because uh, I I hired a few of, of the people uh, coming from the OJT um mm-hmm. students tapos sila yung mga nakasama ko in building the rolling media while you know hindi pa talaga wala pa siya talaga the rolling media wala pa siya company but mm-hmm. i'm just really outsourcing project to them okay. and then yung mga talagang um na train ko yung mga tipong yung talaga talaga yung talaga nakita ko yung dedication and mm-hmm. willingness to learn sila talaga yung uh, mas nagtagal and then Doon, doon po na naumpisaan yung pagbuo ko ng The Rolling Media. Ayun, so mga students mo rin pala yung mga... Uh, yes, most so of So maganda yun, may mga loyal, loyalty talaga sila. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, loyalty and we were able to build the culture that we are yes. wanting to have as a business. Kasi they are all trained by me, personally. May mga outreach po ka? May programs ka ba para sa mga... Uh, Yun, sa mga disabled? Yeah, before I did that. Um, but before actually having mini course YouTube or whatever digital marketing assets I had, ang ginagawa ko talaga before, I have this Share Your Joy uh, event. I do it every September. I've started it uh, 10 years ago. Actually, 10 years na namin this year. Wow. So <laughs> um, ang ginagawa ko is every birthday ko, may papa party kami with children um for children with disabilities or ear diseases or can- may cancer ganyan so para i spend a day just to really bond with this kid kasi ako i feel very fortunate that i am with my family i have a very supportive and loving family mm, yeah. and so i try to spend at least a day of happiness with these kids na nasa orphanage. So, yeah. Yan. Yeah. Mm, Sayano na. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, and and, and yeah. I'm very excited na pang sampung taon na namin this year. Yes, congratulations na. Uh, Continue. <laughs> so, kailan yung next? Kailan? This coming September, I'm, I'm actually looking for oh, a specific okay. orphanage. Kasi yung dati namin pinupuntahan, close sila up. Probably because of COVID restrictions. So, I'm, I'm looking for a new one or... Actually, I'm thinking about at least two events 
What are your ano, goals in the future for your agency and of course for yourself? Ano may mga goals na gusto mong ma-achieve na dito near future? I think one of my personal goals that could be um, intertwined with business is I really aspire to inspire and educate people all around the world by um, speaking on the stage and um, traveling with my mom, hopefully. And I would probably start in the Philippines. Um, I don't know exactly the plan yet, but I'm trying to do that online by, you know, like this. Now, I'm mm-hmm. um, ako sa mga interview or I accept uh, the engagements or I create online. Um, I mean, I create content online. I want to talk on YouTube to spread awareness, to spread positivity, ganyan. One, that's one of my biggest goals, uh, personal goals. For my business, naman, I would want to really focus on personal brands, not just international clients, but also locally, um, for us to be able to provide service to coaches, uh, digital entrepreneurs, consultants, and how they can communicate their expertise online. Regarding naman sa, ano, sa agency, kasi you mentioned you develop a culture. So, interested lang ako kung how do you, how do you build that? Mm-hmm. Um, kasi importante talaga. Uh, if you're working with a team, diba, dapat you have a culture. How, how did you did that? We have an agreement sa loob ng CRM that we talk about things even if it makes us awkward. Because communication is key to everything. And so I want them to be very open uh, to me and to the whole um, members of the squad. I call them TRM squad. Um, so open communication is one thing that we really implement inside. Uh, may it be a good or bad, whatever you feel, uh, feel free to open it up to me. Um, I also find it very interesting when we get to bond uh, physically or in person. Um, when before COVID happened, I used to meet up with my members at least once or twice a year. I let them fly from different parts of uh, wow. the Philippines to wow. Manila. Para makapagbanding kami kasi I feel like Iba pa rin talaga yung bond in person, yeah, working sure. online. So, from there, nakakikilala talaga namin yung isa't isa. We get to understand ano ba talaga yung mga uh, interest, passion, yung mga gusto nilang gawin personally. Mm-hmm. And I do yearly evaluation or annual evaluation with the whole team to give them proper expectations, feedback, compliments. Um, and I feel like doing that makes us more open with each other na okay kapag nagkamali ka ganito yung pwede natin gawin kapag naginiwa ka ganito yung uh, reward mo and parang um, I made sure that they feel that they're not just an employee but actually partners, partners. they've had inside uh, the company in regards naman sa ano sa relation mo sa mga clients i i know may ano uh, yung mga clients mo alam ko mga big time mga clients mo <laughs> so anong mga how do you deal with your clients and how do you make the best the best out of your relations <laughs> so i make sure that i provide genuine care to them because i feel like people will really realize and feel that if you are being authentic to, to them um I am very 
um, personalized with my clients, meaning uh, they can contact me directly. And I'm actually their uh, point of contact whenever they need anything. I give them all access to me, but I also provide healthy boundaries uh, yeah, yeah. For, for both of us. Um, I'm more clear then I'm more polite with them and I mm-hmm. think they love it about me. Um, and even though uh, we finish the project, I make sure that I stay in contact with them. So I'm not just you know, building relationships because I want to work with them or I'm working with them, but because they're really a part of my life and the success of our company because without them, yeah. I don't know where the rolling media would be. For um, aspiring agency owners, what is your best advice for them? Yung mga mag-uumpisa pa lang? And kahit na siguro yung mga meron na talaga na how to improve their ala, their their process or anything um, para mas maganda yung trabaho nila sa agency nila. Uh, the best advice that I could give agency owners like me is to one prioritize uh, profit building cash flow yeah second is always take care of your team okay. take care of your team more than your clients and this could be cliche yeah. for others mm-hmm. because i just feel like you know there are thousands of clients you can work with but oh, okay. there are only few quality people who you can share core values with uh, that you can really work with and so i really am uh, encouraging them to really um take care of their people well both clients and the team but most of the time because i feel like some agency owners prioritize their clients because they know the clients is the one paying the business yeah. right? but i feel like we should always consider the contribution of the team that we um that we are working with and lastly would be be true to your messaging and always build relationships prioritize or focus on building relationships, network more than your network. So, ano yung words of wisdom mo na masishare sa mga ating mga viewers? Uh, I only have two things. One is success is a long-term commitment. So, yeah. if you really want to have success, you have to do it consistently intentionally and you have to really work on the process non-stop second would be if you want world-class revenue then you have to provide world-class value ayun thank you very much sa iyong time and thank yeah. you thank you so much Rene. okay okay yeah I... and that was giselle tech our freelancer of the week and did you like the video just smash the like button and if you want more freelancers of the week just subscribe and click the notification bell and tell me who do you want next all right this is renee of freelancer philippines and i'll see you at the next video